Sarvas the Cap guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video on the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. Welcome. My name is Didi. Today, making a new style video, I'm gonna drive around the Bangtao area and I'm gonna search if I can spend some Bitcoin today. I've heard that there's like three or four shops that should be accepting, uh, accepting Bitcoins as a payment. I'm gonna uh, visit them and ask them if I can spend Bitcoins. It's very cool shop. One of them you will really like, it makes you happy. The other one, if you're hungry, will help you. Uh, the third one, I don't know what it is, but there was a huge sign. And the fourth one is my big ass house over here. You see the house? That house is also paid by Bitcoin. And I'm gonna tell you at the end of the video how I succeeded in paying this one with Bitcoin. So keep watching the video till the end because Jolie on the back of the camera is doing a shitload of work to film me all day long. Now let's come and jump on the motorbike to see if we can spend Bitcoin today. Yeah. place outside of my house and about the house I need to tell you some more so wait until the end of the video but now I'm going to show you a beautiful store that should be accepting Bitcoin check this bam look Popeye check Popeye check how cool Popeye is that's so fucking cool you even have a Bitcoin sign in there guys let's check if it's open and if we're allowed to film, maybe we're not allowed to film, of course. Let's see, guys. Look inside. Ooh, you're already welcomed Hi. by Popeye and by this beautiful, Hi, beautiful. So we up. I love your show. Like Popeye and Bitcoin. There's nothing better. This is like amazing, guys. Look this wall painting. Like if you want to buy some cannabis-related stuff, you should go to this store. You did have the Bitcoin sign, so probably Bitcoin accept as well. And also very soon, I think it's a scoop. You will be able to exchange your cash into Bitcoin with this Bitcoin ATM on Phuket. I love it. So I would like to buy something to yeah. What is a nice one? Let's see. It's all very nice. This sound is very fancy. Julie, which one do you like? Bitcoin for the most powerful herbs in the world. You can find it in India, have P5, the most update in the island. Where? Here, P5. Ah, hey, you can even play play a PS5. Check. <laughs> ah, I think it's gonna be my favorite place over here, guys. You can play, you can see your Bitcoin Popeye, and you can have a lot of fun with all the stuff that you can see here, of course. And of course here, very healthy herbs to stay healthy. <laughs> Look, wow, good. So that was the first spending today with uh, Bitcoin here. Um, so you can buy with crypto. Today it was not working, so I need to spend Thai baht. How do I get Thai baht? I get Thai baht through OTC deals. OTC meal means that I meet people here and they exchange Bitcoin to Thai baht in cash. So that's OTC. But I will tell you more about that later in the video as well. But this thing over here, Top High Cannabis, accepting Bitcoin for cannabis and all the things that you need to smoke that beautiful herb that makes you healthy and smile. Long time! Happy long time! <laughs> but that was the first stop guys, we bought some good, good stuff to smoke. But when you smoke, you get hungry. So now, let's search for a place where we can also um, have some food and pay with Bitcoin. Let's see if we can find something. 
what is my favorite dessert in Thailand? I think it's mango sticky rice. Mango sticky rice. Let's go and see if we can buy mango sticky rice with Bitcoin. Bam! We are now at Blue Tree in Phuket. And in Blue Tree in Phuket, there should be a small bar. It's called like something mango, something. I don't know what mango, mango. Orange, yellow mango, yellow mango, something like that. And they should be accepting Bitcoin as well. So let's have a look and see if I can spend some Bitcoins um, for some food and drinks and juices and all that stuff. Because after smoking weed with my daughter, we are hungry. No, we didn't smoke weed. Don't do that at home. Dangerous. Disclaimer. Let's see how it is. Blue tree, guys. Beautiful. There's a lot of stuff you can do over here. Look. And I think this is the one. Mango Yellow Cafe. Look. Mango Yellow Cafe. Check. Bam. They accept Bitcoin. I'm going to check inside. You accept Bitcoin? No Bitcoin. No. Why not? Why do you have the sticker Bitcoin accepted? Cancel Bitcoin. Ah, because of the government law. Do you want some drinks without Bitcoin? Oh, you should be not drink because they don't accept it. <laughs> this is terrible. Can I have the strawberry soda with mango pop? I need to pay with filthy cash. <laughs> filthy cash, no Bitcoin, just filthy cash. <laughs> I'm very disappointed. I want to pay mango juice with Bitcoin. Really disappointed guys, because we can't pay with Bitcoin over here. Um, off camera, they told me the reason. The reason is that the Thai law says that now receiving payments with Bitcoin is not kind of legal. So all the people that, really, that, that were accepting Bitcoin are like kind of afraid. So they don't want to be public about that they still accept Bitcoin. And so till that time, and they will keep the sticker on because they do want to accept Bitcoin, uh, which is already really positive to me that people with these kinds of bars, mango bars, want to accept Bitcoin. They understand why to accept Bitcoin. Um, at least the owner does, the employees don't. Uh, but you know, the law is a law and people in Thailand uh, still obey the law. Um, that's why they don't look like me. <laughs> and there's uh, one more place that we are going to visit. And uh, there's also something with Bitcoin. We're going to check that one out if they still accept Bitcoin or not. And then we have already three things. And there is one more thing that I want to show you. And then at the end of the video, I will talk to you guys about um, why I do think it's very important for you guys to be all in Bitcoin instead of all in euros and dollars. And why you should be spending Bitcoins and not only holding Bitcoins. Because I know that people say, ah, if you spend Bitcoin now, it could be very expensive in the future. You know, if you have euros and dollars now and you don't buy Bitcoin at the moment, it could also be very expensive in the future. So do think the other way around as well. For you and for me, it should become more easier to spend Bitcoin all the way, yeah, all over the world, because I've been traveling all over the world and I find places all over the world and there's a lot of websites that show you where they accept Bitcoin, but it's not like easy yet. So uh, it's still a nice game to play. Now um, I'm going to drink my mango juice and then um, come back to you again to, um, to continue the trip here and forget to drink. No rest. No, no. I've been down so long that my mind can't get no rest. No, no. This ain't easy, darling. Cause the devil's on my trail. I've been running. Bitcoin sign. The club you can call and they do meetups and all that stuff here in the Pang Tao area and they talk about Bitcoin, blockchain and probably many other stuff so you can't spend Bitcoins here as well but again you can see that the adoption is growing guys. These kinds of signs on the street um, do show people that Bitcoin is there and that's what we need. We need more and more people to understand what Bitcoin is, what you can do with it and the community needs to grow so we can spend it all over the world. Now, next time.
I bought you a present. Yeah, I belated Valentine's gift and that we're so long together that you not kill me, please. No, it's an adult present. What? My color. It's a beautiful color. <laughs> the man has some issues with the tyrant, so maybe they will relax you. Or make you happy long time! <laughs> yes, we will tell you later when you grow up and become 15 or 16 what it is. It's like a sort of a pipe. Pipe, okay. Pipe. A weed pipe. <laughs> I bought it, to be honest, for us all to use. But your color! <laughs> no, that I would have bought the other color, a black one or something, or orange. Okay, thank you. Thank You're welcome. I love you. Long time. Love you too. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed today's video. Yes, sadly, I couldn't spend bitcoins today here in the Bangtao area of Phuket. The Bangtao area is like an area of like five square kilometers or something that I've been driving around. And yes, I found three places that do have Bitcoin signs. Yes, that beautiful Popeye Bitcoin weed shop uh, that accepts Bitcoin, but they were offline at the moment. It will take a couple of days and they will be online. And then you can pay with Bitcoin. There is also a Bitcoin ATM over there that you can start using to exchange your cash um, into Bitcoin, which is really positive, of course. And then we had that uh, beautiful place that uh, sells mango juices, but um, the boss told him to stop accepting Bitcoin at the moment till that the government law is completely clear on if Bitcoin is illegal tender over here in Bit in Thailand and then you can spend it and um, then we also found on the way back this beautiful place where there's a huge Bitcoin sign but that's a promotion for a Bitcoin community that talks about Bitcoin and educates companies about how to accept Bitcoin also very positive of course so it's all very positive we can see the adoption you saw already in yesterday's video that there is a Bitcoin coffee shop on Phuket I could spend Bitcoins over there uh, be USD to be very honest but they will soon start to accept Bitcoin I think as well so all in all Yes, there is adoption in Thailand, but it still needs some pushes. And I think it's all up to the community to keep pushing those people, those stores, those activities, except Bitcoin. Now, about my house, because you want to know about the house. I've been renting houses all over the world. And all over the world, I have been paying those houses with Bitcoin. Sometimes direct payments with Bitcoin, because if you go to Travala.com, for example, you can book hotels, bungalows, houses, apartments, flights, and everything else directly with Bitcoin or with, I think, almost 50 other cryptocurrencies on Travala.com. Um, there is many more other websites that do offer Bitcoin payments, Bitcoin flights uh, for direct pay payments of Bitcoin. So this time in Thailand, I couldn't pay through Travala because the house was not listed on Booking.com or any of those and also not on Airbnb. I found a house through a friend of mine. Now, he's living in Thailand. I said, you have Bitcoins? Yes, of course I have Bitcoins. You have a Thai bank account? Yes, he has a bank tank bank account. So I tell him, can you help me out? I will pay you a small commission if I can send you my Bitcoins, you do an OTC on your BitCoop exchange, and then you transfer that money into the bank account of the one that is renting the house to me. And that's a beautiful way how a Bitcoin community should be helping each other. If you li live in a country that does allow you to trade on a Bitcoin exchange, then you could help other Bitcoiners, um, yes, with exchanging some Bitcoins to the local currency or pay a bill through a bank account. I know it's not always legal all over the world, but guys, we are not born in captivity, we are no animals, we are not like these entities that like are controlled by the 1% that is wearing suits and pretends to be government people and politicians that pretend to be doing good for you. We don't need to be controlled like that. We have decentralized alternatives that we can decide ourselves what to do and how to uh, transform in my opinion so I'm not always following the law and I hope that the whole Bitcoin community will do the same just help each other be there for each other now and um, so the house I did through OTC and um, all the other things we do for example also with Bitcoin debit cards there are many possibilities you can spend Bitcoins by using Visa or MasterCard tap for example the newest one that I'm using works perfectly everywhere where MasterCard is accepted my Bitcoins are in this card I pay I lose Bitcoins they win their currency whatever they prefer stupid as hell you should be accepting Bitcoin through Lightning Network because then they would making would be making shit of more profit but you know everyone needs to do the things the way 
way that they need to do. By the way, if you do know places that accept Bitcoin directly in Phuket or Thailand or anywhere else in the world, then do comment down below and let me know because I would love to visit those places. I would love to spend my Bitcoins because that's the last question that I need to answer now. Why did you are you spending Bitcoins? Shouldn't we just be hodling Bitcoins? Because else you would be spending a lot of Bitcoins now because of the value and in the future that could be millions. That's the same the other way around. If you're spending euros to stuff that is not Bitcoin, that could have been Bitcoin and you could have been buying Bitcoins at these levels and made a shitload of profit, but you're not. You're spending euros in the grocery store. We don't have bank accounts. We are all in. The only thing that we can do is spend our Bitcoins. So we, we have no alternative way of spending because we live in all in life in Bitcoin. And if you don't have any alternative, then you are depending on Bitcoin payments. So for me, very simple. All in, I live a decentralized, uh, no KYC lifestyle, only owning some Bitcoins, no materialistic stuff. And yes, my capital will go up and down. In average, it will only be going up. Yes, 100K that you have on your bank account, in average, will buy you less, less, less. 100K in Bitcoin today will buy you more, 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 more in the future because Bitcoin is deflationary. Your money is inflationary. So that's, for me, the reason to be all into Bitcoin. But also let me know down below, why are you not all in Bitcoin? Let me know down below in the comment. Are you still afraid if we go to zero? Are you still afraid that Bitcoin will stop to exist? Are you still afraid of the governments that will take away your Bitcoins or something like that? I don't understand why not everyone is in Bitcoin. So let me know down below in the comments why you are not all in yet. That was everything for today, but I do hope you really enjoyed the video. Sadly, I couldn't spend direct Bitcoins. I'm going to go back once and then try to spend Bitcoins, of course, at that beautiful Popeye shop because I really like that shop and all the ingredients that they sell over there. <laughs> if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment what do you think about this video. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you soon again somewhere else in beautiful Thailand looking for beautiful places that accept Bitcoin. See you next time.